Hey guys, welcome back to Chaos Core Tech. My name's Garrett, and today, um, you know we here at Chaos Core Tech love to stay on top of trends, so we are gonna be doing Fall Guys. Honestly, at this point, I should probably just change the name of the channel to Internet Explorer, like that Twitter account that um, <laughs> tweets things from forever ago like they're new because Internet Explorer is slow. That's us. Okay, but seriously, we uh, started modeling these things when Fall Guys was popular. We were playing it just like everyone else was. And it's still a super fun game, they just didn't do a great job um, keeping on top of it and keeping people engaged. So we thought we would take a crack at modeling our own Fall Guys costumes and just having a bit of fun with it. And even though this trend happened uh, a few months ago at this point, we just thought the results were too cute not to share with you guys, so enjoy. And originally these were kind of two separate video ideas, but we decided to just lump them all together since they're all Fall Guys related. So the first one up is Godzilla. And if you are a fan of the channel, you should know um, why we picked Godzilla. Godzilla is by far my most popular model. I got a ton of downloads. Um, so of course we picked Godzilla for one of the costumes. And it turns out that uh, Fall Guys actually did add a Godzilla costume after this, but I actually think mine's better. I don't want to toot my own horn, but hey, it's my horn, right? Stop. Okay, stop it. You do not want to toot your own horn? It's your own horn. You did not find these horns on the street. It is not the horn of a, of a stranger. I will not toot it, it's your horn. Also, you guys know the story by now on how we create these things, right? Modeled in ZBrush, printed on Elegoo with Tech resin, and then Chelsea does her magic with sanding and painting to make them look amazing. So without further ado, here is our version of a Godzilla Fall Guys outfit. And just to up the cuteness factor a little bit, I made him holding an egg to signify one of the worst games, or worst modes in the game, the egg scramble, and I even made a base that has the sort of egg scramble um, floor tile on it. So I had a ton of fun making that. So Chelsea and I decided that we were both gonna tackle the next thing and make a Mario themed Fall Guys level, sort of. So first off, we started by creating a bunch of characters. Of course, we've got Mario and Luigi, um, Peach, we've got Toad, and then we needed some bad guys, so we have Bowser and Lakitu in there. Um, I think Chelsea and I both touched these models, like every single one of these models at some point. I'm not looking, I'm touching. There are just things that um, certain one of us are better at and, you know, time permitting, we just kind of pass them back and forth. But I think they came out really good. Um, we started by modeling the, just all the stuff on them and then we posed them after the fact. And you have to make sure that your topology is pretty good in order to pose them like that. But I think it really pays off because then you can utilize symmetry and sort of just get the look of the model right before you pose it. And it's usually a lot easier to pose it rather than modeling it in the pose from the start. Because when we started these models, we actually didn't know how, like what the base was gonna look like and how we were gonna arrange it. So that was the next step. I headed over to Blender and started using this. And this was still pretty early on in my Blender uh, career, I guess if you call it that. Um, so I was still not super used to how things work in Blender, but I got there eventually. Um, I modeled this after Fall Mountain, the sort of iconic uh, dash up the hill to grab the crown at the end. Um, the the final stage or whatever for certain fall guys runs and this is just the last little chunk where the crown is and of course it's a crown i thought that was perfect for mario so i basically just took that and uh, slapped a mario kart uh, coat of paint on it like the little posts 
I turned those into um, the pipes that Mario goes down and I changed the, the little thing on the back. Uh, I think there were just walls in Fall Guys, but I made them look a little more like the, the platforms in some of the more recent 3D Mario games. And then I split it up into four parts so we could print it on our printers because it was a pretty big piece, even though the Fall Guys themselves were pretty small, but in order to have something on this scale, the base needs to be large. We used our artillery sidewinder to print all of the base pieces. Then as always, Chelsea did her magic. Um, she sanded some of the rough spots. Um, we decided not to put too much work into the base because since it was printed FDM, there were lines all over it and it was gonna require a ton of work. And I think it actually um, kind of contributes to the cartoony look of it that you can tell it was 3D printed. So we decided not to put the work in there and then put the work in on the characters because that's the important part. So she spent a lot of time sanding and painting those. Then she just did a quicker paint job on the, the base. So without further ado, this is our take on a Super Mario Bros. themed Fall Guys level. All right, well, that was what we had for our Fall Guys video. Um, I will see you guys in 2022 for our Among Us video. Just kidding, kidding, 
kidding. We're actually not doing anything for Among Us. We did play it quite a bit, it's super fun. But yeah, we're bad at trends around here. But seriously, let us know what you think down in the comments. I thought these were super fun. Um, and that's honestly why we did them because I love just cute characters that you can put different costumes on. It's just, it, it allows us to use uh, an existing IP that is um, that people recognize. So it's just more fun for everybody, but we can put our own uh, creative spin on it. I, I like things like that. So if you want to get your hands on these models, we are going to put them up for free over on Things. There will be a link in the description. So check out the links in the description. And if you print any of these out, tag us over on Twitter and Instagram. We love to see um, you guys interacting and having fun with the things we create. All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up and get subscribed so you can be alerted when we put out new videos. And until next time, keep creating.